Hello there, and welcome to another pattern recognition video. This time we are going to look at a tactical pattern. But before we go on, we have to make a deal. So from now on, if I am going to make another pattern recognition video, we need 50 likes. So that means that you need to like this video right now so that I release more videos. Simple, simple deal. And I think it's fair. So like the video right now and let's get into it. So this one I call the Queen Falls Guard. And this can happen in a situation when black is offering a queen trade, like here, and the queen is protected. But it's a false guard because the protector is also protecting the square that prevents us from being pinned. But it turns out that you can't do the two things at the same time. So bishop b5 is actually the winning move here. Bishop on b5, pins the queen to the king. And it's important in this pattern that the bishop is also somehow protected. Could be a rook maybe on the file, could be a pawn. In this case, it's a knight. Because otherwise, the queen could simply take the bishop. But if it's protected, then the only way to not lose the queen would be to take it, but then you still lose the queen. So this, in fact, wins the queen. Now this applies when the knight is protecting the queen and protecting the square where the queen can be pinned. So the knight could also be on a7, and the last move would be queen c6. Of course, there would be other pieces. We're just looking at like the key pieces in the pattern. So on a7, this would also apply, as it would on d4. Uh, if the bishop was not protected, let's say there wasn't a knight here, but a rook here. That's also something that very often could arise. Let's say there's a rook, uh, put a rook on this square. And let's say that uh, there is no knight, so we'll simply uh, remove it. Now, after bishop b5, the queen takes, we would win the rook. So these are sort of the things that apply here. Uh, we, could, we could also shift this pattern. Uh, I mean, the queen could be here, the king could be here. Uh, let's say our queen is here. And let's say the knight is protecting the queen and, and this square. So the bishop right here, it could land on e5. Of course, we would need it protected. So bishop e5 here would remove the guard. So it's actually a false guard. Looks like it's protecting the queen, but we forcibly remove it with uh, the pin. So the pin can happen in various places and we'll see examples of that. And also examples where we simply uh, win the rook. So first example, we actually win the rook, white to play, place bishop to b5. No, it, it, actually in this one it's protected, so bishop b5 immediately just wins. Again, we have the pin and nothing to be done. Either you give up the queen here for a piece, and actually we can flick in this one and then take the queen. Or if you take with the knight, I take your queen, and then this even drops. Okay, this example, let, let, let's see the build up here. So black thought, okay, I'll use the uh, pin on the pawn, I'll take on d4, hit the queen. But then you realize, okay, queen takes b7, but I can play queen c6, protecting the rook, and the knight is protecting the queen. So white doesn't have time to take because his queen is uh, unprotected, but the false guard here, we remove it, bishop b5, queen false guard, it's not actually guarding the queen. So bishop b5, and this uh, removes the defender of a8. So this is sort of a bonus uh, bonus uh, tactic connected with this uh, this pattern. Most of the time, let's, let's see the next one. Most of the time we're going to win the queen. In this game, black took on b2. His queen was under attack also. Uh, so the rook is attacked, and why I thought he was saving the day with queen c3 but we now know this pattern the queen falls guard and we remove it bishop to b4 the bishop is protected so the queen can't take the bishop if it wasn't again we win the rook but since it's protected we win the queen more examples 
and more built up this this one is winning the rook queen f6 but we need a we need a bit of setup because there's nothing to uh we can't make a pin so what do we do we play bishop h5 check nothing to be done but king d8 and now it's a false card so we can play bishop d5 and you either lose the queen and we take or you lose the rook in this case the rook and white went on to win this game in this game black should be winning up a piece and when you're up a piece you, you sometimes want to uh, liquidate trade queens and that's what black did he played queen f6 protected by the knight right mm. wrong bishop e5 false guard it's protected so this means we win the queen either bishop takes queen or after knight takes we take the queen white went on to win obviously now here black just play rook d2 and white made a bad move queen to e3 and we are protecting the square so we can play it and once again the knight is protecting the queen and the pending square so, but to no avail it's a false guard bishop d4 and we win the queen now the final example is for you and do leave a comment when you've solved it so i'll give you the uh, the best move here played by black queen to a5 and white played knight c2 so i want you to anticipate the fact that white wants to take here on e3 either with a knight or a queen so find the best move that anticipates white taking on e3 and executes our pattern if he does best of luck leave your answer in the comment and once again you were supposed to like the video already if you haven't like it now and 50 is the key number and then we will re release another video within a day that's a promise so let's do it thank you